Hey friends, welcome to this bonus video. In here, I'd like to show you a trick which you can apply in order to show all the filters which have been applied on your report in the tooltip. This gives additional information and helps the report consumer know what kind of filters are currently applied on a visual. So let me show you what I mean. At first, let me actually select maybe my total profit in here and I will go to the format pane and I will make sure that under edit interactions, this is actually filtering also my, my donut chart here. Okay, completely. Okay, that's what I want to enable here. And now let's do the following. Let me just maybe select United States here. You'll see that the data changes also on the ship mode. However, if I hover over one of the ship modes, I still only see in the tooltip, it's ship mode DHL Express, and I can see the total sales. What I don't see in the tooltip is uh, that here currently the data is filtered to USA. Also, if I untick this, I can see the full data again. Same is true for all the other countries. Select Germany here and you see the data gets filtered. But if I hover over here, it tells me UPS sales are 57,000 and so on. But I do not know, at least from the tooltip, that the data is currently filtered to the country Germany. And this, of course, continues if you add additional um, visualizations and slicers. So let's actually maybe make this smaller in here and let me go to the dates table and also choose maybe the year. So we have a year column. Let's first actually create a slicer, take the slicer option and choose year, for instance. And we have our slicer. And now let's say I'd like to select the year 2021. So you see that the data changes. This is my first filter, which I've applied on all the visuals. And the second filter is now country USA again, so United States. And now I can see these are the sales for DHL Express, so for the ship mode in 2021 within the country United States. So that's actually what this data shows, but it doesn't. it's not told in the, the tooltip. The tooltip only says DHL Express total sales. Now that's totally fine, of course, if that's the behavior you want, but maybe you would like to give the report consumer the option to see all the filters which have been applied from all the visuals of this report in this tooltip. How do we do this? And there's a trick, and I, let me show you how. Let's first maybe select this back to 2019, so we see all the data. Okay, and untake United States as well. So that was the original view. Okay, so. In order to do this, you need to install one external tool, which is DAX Studio. DAX Studio is for free, so if you Google it, you can download it for free, and then you will see it under external tools, under this ribbon. So if I tick this option, I see the external tools which I have currently installed. And one of them is DAX Studio. Now the way it works is you click DAX Studio. This means that you open it, and it's directly connected to your Power BI report. And it shows you in here all the tables you have. Now for me, I want to right click now on the orders table. As of course, if you have your own data, then you will do it with your data. But here with the orders table from the training data, which is also provided in the course, you have the option here to define, filter, dump, measure all, all tables. So this means you create here a DAX expression, which is a measure which contains the filters applied by all the tables. So let's actually click this and you see that this is what gets created. Let me make this bigger. So it's quite a long syntax in here, right? With a lot of variables and checking for is filtered and so on. So of course the syntax repeats uh, then, so it's rep repetitive. However, you don't want to write this and you don't have to. Because what you do now is you simply control C to copy everything, control, so control C to copy it. Then you go back to your report in here. And what you do is you simply create a new measure. So let me go up here to my measures table, right click and say new measure. And within this measure, um, there it is. So let's actually zoom in. Let me make this bigger and zoom in. So that's the measure. And this will be the filter we have applied. So we define here simply um, the tooltip filter, aspire directly. Of course, you can name this whatever you like. It's equal to, 
and let me go to new line and then I paste the whole code in here. So you see that this is really a lot of code and shows me a few additional things here which are currently underlined in red. But the only thing which I need to do is actually remove the define and measure part. Because the, the measure itself starts with the variable definition in here. So let me just go in here and remove the define and measure because this is only relevant to DAX Studio. So let me remove this. And we should be good to go. So that's our measure now. Tooltip, and then we define the variables and return something. So let me execute this. Press on enter to create the measure. Okay, now measure is done. And now what I do is I select the visual I want, for instance, this one, and I will drag my tooltip filter into the here, the tooltips area. So remember at the beginning, if we hover over that, we only got information about the data which is included in the specific visual. But if I now drag my tooltip filter here into the tooltips, like that, hover over it, it tells me orders table ship mode is currently DHL Express. So far so good. But now, if I now do first filtering maybe on the year 2021, I press enter, I see that my data is filtered and if I hover now over, for instance, this ship mode, I see not only that the ship mode is UPS in this case, but also I see that the year is 2021. So I can see that on my dates table, also a filter has been applied. And this continues. So if I, for instance, go in here and now I choose any kind of country, so I choose here Brazil. So check it, Brazil. I can see the data for Brazil for the year 2021. And if I now hover, for instance here, over this one, I can see tooltip filter tells me the year is 2021, the customer country is Brazil, and the ship mode is DHL Express. And that's exactly how this works. And this of course now gives the report consumer all the information in the tooltip itself. So even if he or she maybe has forgotten that something is selected here, or it's not, it's not clarified, then it's still visible in the tooltip and you know exactly what this data shows you. And uh, that's it. So that's how easy it is using this trick, using DAX Studio, so you don't have to write any kind of complex DAX measures yourself. You just uh, open it, you create the dump uh, measure filter, you paste all of that in your own measure in here. Just make sure that you remove the define measure part at the beginning, and then you can see exactly what data is filtered in the specific visual. And of course, you can apply this also to other visuals. You just need to drag then the tooltip filter, the, the measure we have created, of course, also in the tooltips for the other visuals where you want to display that. Okay, so that's it actually for this trick. Hopefully that was helpful and hopefully this can help you enhance your report and make it even better. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching and hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, thanks guys.